This is a greatly truncated uh, version of one of the pages of my website, both in terms of size and the amount of code in it. And it sort of fits the picture of maybe 95% of all websites. Basically, you have a banner at the top that's like a description of what the website is, quite often has a logo and a title. Then you have a bar below it that's a navigation bar that lets you go to other places in the site. And then you have the main content of the page reflected in this uh, beige with a red border. And quite often you have a sides which are often secondary navigation or like a news panel of, that's of somewhat less importance than the main section but still of interest. And then at the bottom you have a footer which has a copyright and quite often other information like links to other pages and things like that. And HTML5 recognized that this kind of style exists, you know, and, and decided to build it into the new version of uh, HTML tags. So if we look at the code for this, you can see at the top there is a tag called header and then the below that another tag called nav for the navigation bar and then a section which is the main area for uh, items to be displayed you know art, especially articles and things like that and then another type of tag called article which can have its own headers and footers and so on. And within a header you can have an H group which describes like multiple header elements like a main title and a subtitle. And finally at the bottom you have a footer in the article and within the main code you have a uh, an aside <coughs> which is a uh, panels off to the side, possibly a secondary navigation bar or a news panel which you update quite a bit. You know, people look at to see what the latest thing happening is. And then you have the footer at the bottom of the page, which is the main footer for the whole page as opposed to a footer in the article. And you'll notice all these uh, uh, tags which are really sort of pseudo tags because all they do is describe the type of content they don't actually have any properties of their own so these all have IDs associated with them like ID the footer ID side news ID main section and so on and the reason you have to have this type of uh, IDs for all the tags is by themselves they have no uh, kind of uh, styling. So uh, as I say if you run this directly in Chrome you get a page that looks like this but it's all because of the CSS styling. If I went to the uh, main directory that has this in it and move the styling away so it can't be found. Like copy this over to a different subdirectory. And then I relaunch this in Chrome. Oops. You see it just looks like plain text. There's no styling actually associated with the HTML5 tag. So if we look at the CSS file, first thing it does is it takes a universal tag and sets the margin and padding to zero. So our tags, later tags, are the ones that have the effect on that. Since margin and padding are two of the main things that are used with flow layout spacing. And then for all these major set settings, it does display colon block. And basically display says how you order 
uh, sections one after another and block says you put them on top of one another much like the stack panel and whereas later on we'll see in the navigation we briefly switch this to uh, uh, inline block which puts them horizontal and in general this type of description is very reminiscent of the dock panel we're docking at the top docking at the bottom we're not using the same kind of technique but we're getting the same kind of effect and another specialized kind of selector we have along with the universal selector which is the asterisk is descendant selectors which say look for the class top menu or look for the ID top menu and then look for a class called nav bar within that and only when you have a top menu and a nav bar as a child of that apply this styling and this goes one further down that says top menu a class of nav bar and li uh, tag so basically what this does is it when I say inline block it changes uh, a bunch of uh, unordered lists items to be horizontal so they look like a navigation bar it's kind of a nice technique and you get rid of the dot with the list style none and then of course you need padding and margins all over the place in order to implement spacing and changing the font to things like bold uh, 14 point Tacoma make things look nice well, I essentially talked about this in order to show that uh, there's an equivalent idea in HTML and CSS to doc panel. And the main way that's is implemented is one through the display that we just talked about, and the other through float, which causes things to float left or right, or possibly uh, inherit from the parent or have no float which means they'll just be ordered wherever they'd be in the natural uh, flow of the layout and float in it once again it's sort of a way of changing from vertical to horizontal especially with display uh, uh, block so that if we look at the web page you see this has a float left and this actually also has a float left. You might think it'd have a float right, but like having two left panels in the dock panel, it says float this left and then float this left next to it if there's space to put it next to it. If there's not, it'll put it underneath. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot. And I think if you look at the code on the web page, which is actually a lot jazzier than this, although this is largely based on it. The, you'll uh, get a lot out of just studying the code and meditating on it. And also I'd like to thank Bucky Roberts and his website, uh, The New Boston, which I got much of my ideas from. In fact, I'd say I act actively ripped off several of the ideas. So as Picasso said, uh, good artists copy and great artists steal. I guess I was a great artist with respect to Bucky on this one. Well, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.